Hi guys, we're excited to be here with another update to Amped 5, and this time we're introducing a brand new tool. Let's take a look. Let's propose you have some video files on a removable media drive that you need to work on, but that first need to be copied and have their hash values calculated and verified. Here we introduce Copy and Verify found under File and Copy and Verify within 5. We understand that it's important to maintain evidence integrity from capture all the way through to analysis and presentation, and Copy and Verify makes it easier than ever before to do just that. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how the tool works with a USB drive, but the same can be applied to a single file, folder, CD, DVD or any other external media. Firstly, I've navigated to my USB drive using the source bar at the top. Underneath this, I can specify my destination folder of choice, but in this case, I'm sticking with the default desktop folder option. The operation menu allows you to select from five different operations to perform within copy and verify, hash source and hash destination, will create hash values for files located in either location. Compare source and destination will allow you to compare hash values between the files in each location in the event you have already copied them. Copy source to destination will copy your files without comparing them and copy source to destination and compare, the default option, will copy and compare your files to the destination, which is what I'm going to use here. The target menu allows you to choose whether or not to include subfolders in the location or target a single file, particularly useful if the source location has files unrelated to the case. MD5 is the default hash algorithm, but you can also choose from the following SHA functions depending on your preference. Clicking Remove Duplicates in the destination will remove any identified duplicate files. The Displayed Path options determine how a file will be displayed. Using the Full File Path will show the entire file path, but selecting the Relative File Path will show only the shorter file name and extension. Clicking Clean will remove the tool of the previous operation. Clicking Run will start the operation, and clicking Stop will cease the operation following completion of the process on the current file. You can see the tool is now copying my files and comparing each as it goes, displaying a progress percentage for each file over the size of 200 megabytes. Once a file is copied, the copy status is updated as to whether the process was successful or not. In this case, I haven't stopped the tool from its operation and my removable media is healthy, so we can see that all the files have been copied, compared, and a report has been produced. You can also see the difference between the full and relative displayed file path, and I can click clean to clear the tool of this operation. A quick check of the desktop folder shows my files, in this case car camera footage. I've also chosen to copy the system volume information. Select Do not include subfolders under target if this is not necessary. The generated report is saved in the destination location in TSV format, easily opened with the likes of Excel should you need to save these results as part of your notes, disclosure obligations or departmental processes. The Copy and Verify tool means your copying and evidence verification can be performed straight from 5, saving you time and making your workflow even more straightforward. We've made some improvements to our user interface. For instance, you can now edit the name of a chain by simply double-clicking it within the History panel.
We've added new macros, original position time and original position frames to the add text filter for the referencing of any original frames position in the video. And the position time macro is now improved to better support time-based video formats such as Milestone. We've added the ability to hide lines and measurements in the measure filters. Simply navigate to the layers tab in the filter settings to reveal the new options. In our add timestamp filter, We've added a new parameter to adjust the frame rate according to the user defined start or end timestamps found under adjust frame rate in the filter settings. And finally, we've also now made the cut point in our unroll filter configurable using the start angle parameter within the filter settings. More detail regarding this update can be found on our blog page, so make sure to update to the latest version of 5, check out our blog, our social media pages, and our website and subscribe for more AMPED content in the future.